Hey everyone, so in this video we're going over this kit right here. It's a mix of first aid, hygiene, and health products, and it's something I bring with me on every trip. So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing I'd like to talk about is the bag itself. This is a one liter dry bag from Sea to Summit. They make their own little red first aid kit versions. They come in two or three different sizes. I know they make the half liter, they make the one liter, which I like, and they also make a slightly bigger size. I believe it's two, maybe three liter. Personally, I think the one liter does a job for me. And if you ever need a smaller one, just don't fill it all the way and you can actually roll the top until it compresses down. So one liter does a job for me. Two other things I like about this is it's a dry bag. So you roll the top, keeps water from getting in. I can throw this in a river and I know everything inside my bag will stay dry. So that's the main thing. Two, it is very visible. So if someone in my group gets hurt or even I get hurt, all I have to do is say, hey, go in my backpack, get the red bag and there's my first aid kit. So yeah, let's see what's inside now. Arguably the most important part of the kit, first aid kit. I picked up a just a day kit. I think for what I do, I only go on one or two nighters normally, so this does the job. And I did add a few things though. So I added a couple of these stitch bandages. Now if you don't know what these are, it's hard to see through the packaging here, but any deep cut that won't close and a normal bandage won't stop bleeding, you put these, you pull the tabs, let me see if I get a close up on that. Yeah, there you go. You pull these sides and it actually like cinches the cut back together. So these are really important if you really get a deep cut in the woods. These are great. I recently added some tick removers. There you go, it comes in a two pack, two different sizes. I have never gotten a tick my entire life until my recent hammock camping video. I came back home and I had two ticks on me. So that's really important. Luckily they weren't the ticks with lime, but better get them off. Now for these three items, hopefully my employer doesn't see this because I kind of took these out of the first aid kit at work. It's okay, we have plenty. We have boxes and boxes of spares, but typically frowned upon. So alcohol wipes, cleaning wounds and all that, pretty self-explanatory. Got a splinter out. I mean, you can use a little knife or needle or something else, but just nice having this in the kit and knowing it's there. And some cooling gel. We use a lot of torches at work, I'm a mechanic. And if you've gotten a burn on your finger, this stuff actually works really, really well. So I've never needed it yet, but considering I typically have a campfire, never a bad idea. So that's it for my first aid stuff. I strongly believe a base of knowledge in first aid goes much further than a bigger kit. So I think with just the basics and some knowledge, you guys can get by. Now on to the hygiene portion. All right, I'm gonna go through this from left to right. So here we have some Kleenexes. That's pretty self-explanatory. Blow your nose. Here's some toilet paper from Coglins. If you guys don't know what Coglins are, they are a very, very, very budget brand of, I wanna say camping gear, they might do other things, but it's they're really, really basic cheap stuff. So I don't expect this to be better than one ply. Here, this is actually something I plan on taking out of the kit. These are little like tablets that if you put a little bit of water, they turn into a wet nap. They're only about maybe that big, good to your hands or face maybe. Now I haven't used these, so I probably will be taking them out they are a bit heavy, they're probably the heaviest thing in the kit, and as you can see I've never used it, so don't expect to see this anymore. Here we have this, oh, here we have a scrubber and some wilderness wash from Sea to Summit. This is supposed to be safe for outdoor uses and you know to use outside basically. I bring this when I plan on spending more than one night. I'll use this to clean up my pots and you know have them clean for the next meal. I really like that it, you know, it fits inside the scrubber, makes it more compact. Anything compact, I'm trying, or it has at least at least has my interest. Here we have some wipes. I do tend to bring this hand sanitizer, but I do find that I don't like carrying on liquid like this. You know, the chances of it cracking or leaking, I'd rather not. So the minute this is done, I'm probably gonna remove it and just carry these wipes around. There's that. Here, we'll go with this one actually. I really like this. This is a towel from Sea to Summit. By the way, I have no affiliate with Sea to Summit. They just make really cool compact camping gear. So this is an air light towel. This is, the exact measurements are 14, not 14, let me see what they are. They are 18 by 42 inches. So it makes a good hand, face, and personal towel for you know any, any overnight. As you can see, it's extremely compact. And yeah, bring it with me on every trip. Now for some cleaners. Again, Sea to Summit, I promise you, they just make really good gear. I opted for the pocket hand wash and the pocket body wash. They do make, I believe, laundry detergent. 
they make all sorts, but I believe it's, it's all the same stuff. So I got the two most generic ones. I find, actually I'll show you one. If you guys have ever used those Listerine tabs in the past for your breath, it's pretty similar. There's how many in one pack? 50 leaves. I find two is enough to do my face and my hands. So as you can see, again, extremely compact. I love this sort of thing. And last but not least, I always found it ridiculous when ultralight backpackers would cut a toothbrush at the head to save weight. Nothing against that, I just, for me it's ridiculous, like to save on a few grams of weight. However, I went to the travel section of the pharmacy here and they have two packs of these things. So it's a tongue scraper, toothpick, and a little toothbrush. And I only noticed later that there actually is toothpaste like embedded inside of here. So you probably get a good few uses out of that before. I'm gonna try it out next time I go backpacking. And to go with the toothbrush, big fan of toothpaste tabs. Now I don't bring this whole tin, I'll bring enough for the night or whatever trip I'm doing, I'll bring one for a day, one per day, and an extra. And as you can see, they're tiny. One benefit to tabs over toothpaste is toothpaste freezes in winter. These don't. So that's it for the hygiene section. All right, and here we have all the miscellaneous stuff that I like to carry. Here we have some electrolytes. You know, if you're on a long hike and you're kind of feeling burnt out, it doesn't hurt to throw some of this in your water. It also flavors it. This stuff, in my opinion, tastes terrible, but here we are. I also like to flavor my water. You know, you go get water from a stream and filter it. It's not always the best tasting, so these little single pouches of anything Crystal Light, I don't have that with me, but, you know, Gatorade, iced tea, some Propel, this is also from Gatorade. Anything to flavor the water, make it more enjoyable sometimes. I do like I do drink water, but I really like anything with flavor, so I always keep some of those in there. Here I have some lip balm, some sunscreen lip balm. And this is also another form of lip balm. It's like a it's like a bar. This is really convenient because I have a hard time remembering to put on sunscreen. So I keep this in like my chest pocket and I'll just walk and you know just gonna take it out, put some on your nose where you need to put it and use it really convenient. I feel like having two will help me use it, which we'll see if I actually do. Here we have some Tylenol. Headaches. Campfire smoke, believe it or not, sometimes give me, gives me headaches when I go to sleep. So I try like to change my top and my hat if I can, so at least get some of the smoke smell away. But it, I sometimes wake up with a headache, so I always like to keep this with me. And last but not least, we have water purification tablets. I do bring a water filter when I go on an overnight in summer at least, not in winter. Winter, these are no good below a certain temperature. So in summer when I go backpacking, I do bring this. I typically have a filter, but if that ever fails, we have this. So that's pretty much what I use when I go on any type of, any time of outdoor activity. If I'm on a day hike, I will only bring the first aid kit, the Kleenex maybe. If I'm on an overnighter, I'll bring, you know, like the, the more of the hygiene products and the, the other stuff. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys would add anything or remove anything. Thanks for watching.